Windows Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I am Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. <clears throat> In today's topic, we are going to learn how we can make the best utilization of Windows IIS role and we will learn how to publish any website in your network environment and we also are going to learn how to host a multiple websites in a same domain so that's why this video it might be more than around 15 minutes and above so please bear with me because we have all the ways long way to go so that's why i would like to wind up this web server topic only in one video so without wasting our time much further so let's start our work so now in order to uh, host any website using the iis the first thing that you need to do is you'll have to add the role of the iis server that is already installed in the server so that it can save your time otherwise this video would be much longer so it's over here <clears throat> it's already installed and ftp is also installed because last time we had used this okay and is role are already installed in this pc so you don't have to worry now the next thing that you need to do in order to host any website using your is server you need to have one web page Okay, so for the web page purpose, if you remember, whenever we install IIS, there will be one folder automatically generated actually, name INETPUB. And this is also used for the FTP. See, FTP root is also here. If you remove uh, FTP, then this folder will not be here. But when you install IIS room, in that case, this FTP root, uh, this www root folder will be generated automatically. So this folder is basically designed okay by this is to keep all the documents all the pages that is going to be displayed using a web server is so if i double click this is my page i generated so other pages will get displayed automatically okay because uh, if you have tried ever hitting uh, your you know localhost iip that means your loopback adapter so let's try that one if i hit my loopback adapter Look back IP, I mean to say, this is going to display one page. See, it's going to display one page. Over here, one site is hosted. That's why it's showing that. If, if I remove this page from here, because that is my default page, okay? If I remove, so by default, there won't be this page. I, I have prepared this page for you, okay? Now, so that it saves your time, okay? Now, if I do this now, see, this is the default page of IS installation. So from where this page is going to display? By its default page, default site. So let's see where it is. You go to the C drive, okay? You go to the C drive after you install this INETPUB folder. There is a www root. And if I double click this, see what's gonna display. This is the page actually. Did you see? This is the page. When I click this, this page is going to be displayed after you install the IIS role. This is the default page. That means without hosting any website also, in your IIS, there is a one default page that's been given by the Microsoft server. It can be used in your client operating system as well. But now we are not going to use this page. We are going to design our own website. Okay, so that's why let's start the process. Number one, you'll have to make the page, web page. So I've created this one page, see here. If I click this, if I open, I have written welcome. Just that in order to save your time. Okay, if you have a good knowledge of script, see, it's not a work of system administrator to design or develop any web page. We don't do that work. Our work is to manage, okay? So anyway, uh, if you have a good knowledge of script, that's far better. So for uh, this lab environment scenario, I have created this one page, okay? Now, what we are going to do, I'm going to cut this page because I have designed this page in order to host in your server as a web server. So that location, default location, you have already witnessed that, that is over here. Now we'll see the step, how we are going to host this page. So number one work is to define or design one web page in order to host a website in your Windows Server environment. So number one work is done. Number two, now we are going to create one website and creating a web website that work will be done using the IIS. Go to the IIS, okay? There's a default site always. Always there's a default site and we don't want to use the default site. 
okay see here if i select this default website you see at the right browse option is here that is going to use port number 80 because we are not going to use any certificate see that is my default page i have kept last time you might be wondering why it's coming all the time don't worry i'm going to remove it see here if i remove it now see the default page when you install ias is like this remember this page this is the default page actually okay now we are going to learn how to uh, you know host our own web page so go to the sites right click and select add website now it's asking you the name see this name can be anything you want give anything you want let's say our testing uh, web host prime concern is the path actually physical path now it's not mandatory like a FTP to have your physical path of your file that is going to be hosted as a web page in a root of this inet pub this is not mandatory you can keep this file any year, anywhere you want in other drives also but since we are having a less amount of file so there is no no harm on using the same location that's why i have used the same location that means in this location i have created one web page that you have witnessed before only now okay after that what it is going to ask you on which IP address you are going to host this website? For me, I am going to host in this space. That means in this IP address, 192.168.1.100. So the client, whoever wanted to access my web page, is going to hit this IP address. And do I have a binding with the HTTPS? Definitely, I don't have HTTPS because if I go for HTTPS, I hope you remember, you'll have to go for the certificate. And we don't have any certificate right now. Okay, don't worry. In the coming days, we are going to learn in detail about the certificate server okay so right now what we did we wrote a simple name by creating a one website and we gave the physical path where our home page of the website is copied or the page is now generated and we are not using any http that means port number 80 i'm going to use and on which ip you are going to host a website this is that ip address and what is the default port number i hope everybody knows that's a port number 80 okay as soon as i do that if you have noticed see this ip address is displayed and over here as well browse if i click this previously do you remember there was only port number 80 now this ip address is added as well if i click this it will straight away take you to the page okay are you wondering why this page because the default page is still this page that is being given by is now our next work next work is to change our default web page default web page okay now the name of my default web page will be the name of that page which i have designed as a web page that means over here what is the name of that page index.html see that was our page index.html okay html extension is there that's a your index is the name okay and now what i need to do i need to change my default web page from that see that is the default web page see this is my default web page so i need to add my own default web page so that my design page is going to be displayed via this ip address so right click add or you can do from here also okay right click add now you give a name of that default page don't forget to give the exact extension and the name of the file okay now you see default is this now if i go to my web page and i click this one now it's going to display replace that page okay don't worry we are going to refresh it it's going to display don't worry so over here default page is index.html our default page over here is also index.html okay now if i refresh it okay don't worry if i refresh it and i hit that ip definitely it's going to display that page see did you notice this is my page that i design okay so our work is done that means we have successfully hosted one page so any design you do for that file that is stored as a web page of your c drive okay i need pop folder inside the ww root this is index.html this will be displayed in a browser now this is displayed via your own is console but your client is not going to access your page from your is console they are going to hit your browser and 
what we have done using the IP. Page is displayed. You don't have to worry about HTTP because it's a default page. It will display automatically. Okay. Now, if there is no firewall issue, I can also show this page using my other client PC as well. Because my PC over here is having some sort of your uh, firewall issue, so it might not work. So let's try. Okay. If it can display from that PC or that server, definitely it's going to display from all the PCs that's been connected in the server. So if I do this, HTTP and let's give the IP address or I can give simple this IP address also. <coughs> see, it's going outside. So, okay, it can see here. This page is displayed via this, your next client PC also. Why? Because this is hosted by your server. It is hosted by this server. So that's why it's able to display by any of the client. That means now your this server has hosted one website. Now any computer in your network has a right to access that page as we went through accessing this page using my other client PC. See, it has displayed. Now the next important thing, what you need to understand, sometime you may be willing to browse this web page via name. Example, google.com, yahoo.com, facebook.com. Do you think you are going to be able to memorize the IP addresses of all those servers? That's not possible. Now the next important thing we are going to learn today is how to host any website using the domain name. That we call a binding. Now, the steps for this, after you host a page, after you host a website, you need to create one alias record or a record that we call in DNS. I repeat again, the first page was hosting a web page via IP address. Now we are going to host this same website using a domain name. Now for that, what we need to do, the first thing is we'll go to DNS, we'll go to forward lookup zone. This is your domain and we are going to create one A record. Okay, we create a record. Now in this a record, whatever name you want to give to your that website that you are going to write. See www.biotech.co for which IP address? Remember for hosting our website, I have used this IP address. What was that IP address? 1.100. So now in order to publish your website, Okay, using an IP address, you'll have to write the IP address of that domain itself, of that IP that you have used for hosting a page just now. So 192.168.1.100. Now I am going to create this A record. Add a host. Pointer no need at this moment. Now this, that means as soon as I create this host, you know, it should be able to ping as well. Sorry. Creating a host means it should be allowed to ping. Oh, sorry. That was www.biotech.co. Congratulations. See, successfully it has replied. Now, this is not our concern at this moment. What is our concern? After creating this A record, I would like to display my website using the name of my website rather than using the IP. That means www. Okay, let's see. I would like to display my page this way www.biotech.co this way I need to display okay now for that what I want that was shown from the cache don't worry it won't do that now how am I going to do that in order to bind your website name with that IP I am going to right click and right over click over here edit binding see your website is displayed only with the help of this IP address. I want to display that website with the help of name as well. So I'm going to edit and here I'm going to write that host record that I created in the DNS. www.viatech.co Okay, now see the difference. What's going to happen over here? Here. Refresh. Okay, see, did you notice here? Now browse www.viatech.co. If I click, now that page is going to display. See here, www.viatech.co. So if you want to see again, I'm going to close it 
I'm going to open the browser once again. I'm going to write www.viatecs.co. Congratulations, one website is hosted along with your domain name. But sometimes, but sometimes you might have certain circumstances or you might have certain, you know, emergency or a need, you see, whatever you see for your organization, you'd like to host two websites in the same domain, having a different name, having a different name. In that case, is this possible? Yes, it is possible. Now we are going to do the next phase step in order to host two websites. Remember, just now, in order to host a one website with a domain name, we created one A record. Now, for the second page, I need to create the second A record again. That means we are going to host multiple websites. So this time, I'm going to create now new zone because that zone has already used one A record. Okay, I'm going to use create a new zone. Select primary zone and that will be the primary zone itself. And then select this option to all DNS server running on domain controllers in this domain, viatech.co. Next, and I let's give the name of that zone. Okay, what name you'd like to give? Let's say uh, ftp.viatech.co, for example. Okay, ftp.viatech.co. Now see, second one. And here, what I'm going to do? I'm going to create one A record again. That means FTP or let's do www.ftp.viatech.co. But it is asking you what is the IP address on whom you are going to bind this in coming days. But we have only one IP. See, if you notice here, okay, if you notice in your server, you have only one IP. I'm going to cancel it. See, there's only one IP. Let's go to the NIC because in order to host the multiple website, you need to have the multiple IP over here in our scenario. Now I am going to add one virtual IP for this as well. Okay, properties. This is my IP, advanced. I'm going to add another one IP. 192.168. This time I'll give in different range. Let's say 2.1. Okay, 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 done. Now go to this day and the same console again. Okay, right click, a record. What do you want to give? www.ftp.vitech.com, any name you want. So 192.168.2.1. What was the IP we gave just now? Let's take one second. We can see from here also, don't worry. What was the IP? 2.1 okay so here i'm going to write 2.1 www.ftp.viatech.co host successfully added done okay www.ftp.viatech.co now we need to create the second page okay now we are going to create second page for that purpose now we are we are going to host it in the same location inside inet pop www root now here i am going to create a new folder this is for second website and here i am going to create one notepad file and i am going to save as a html document let's say welcome to my second website you can write anything you want that means this should be your properly designed website okay let's say um, home.html okay Okay, no problem. We'll give this home.html. This one I'm going to give it. And if I double click this, it should display that content that we wrote just now. See, welcome to my second page. Okay, home.html. Okay, now here the next option is now the DNS work is done. Okay, now we are going to host the second page. Okay with the help of IIS. Now I'm going to host second website and website. Second website, browse your location where the second folder is now installed. Inside this, this folder, this one. 
okay and again which ip 2.1 we are not going to bind right now because we need to see first whether it works or not okay don't worry it should work now see we are going to view the second page click go to the browser it should display from the second website come on okay why is it doing this can you guess as usual have a look here can you guess default page is different that's why you need to add your default page okay home.html otherwise it's going to display the same page home.html now go to the second page and hit this ip it should display come on it's taking time see congratulations second website is also hosted but the problem is same what we want to host this website also along with the domain name okay if you remember the record we created okay right now for the second page was this go to dns forward lookup zone see record is created over here www.ftp.viatech.co okay now what are we going to do we are going to bind over here binding this one edit now give the full name www.ftp.viatech.co okay now here the things will get changed refresh it it takes time no worries come on see www.ftp.viatech.co you click that Congratulations, successfully you have hosted the two websites using a IS of Windows Server 2019. Okay. So now another one thing I'd like to tell you over here, you might be willing to limit the visits of your web website actually. So just now what we did, we learned how to host the multiple website Windows Server 2019 IS. Now if you want to limit, see there is option also limit number of connections so let's see that also practically okay now this first side is a biotech.co okay now if i hit biotech.co from here let's say www.biotech.co page is displayed congratulations let's go to another pc okay now here www.biotech.co congratulations page is also displayed okay so both the devices are able to browse that page at the same time. What if I go to limits and I give one? Okay. Now see what's going to happen. I'm going to close this browser. And again, I'm going to go to my next client. And I'm going to close that browser as well. Remember, we gave permission to only one session now. Here limit is one now i'm going to hit this site biotech.co from here page is displayed let's go to the client another pc that means and i'm going to hit the same thing is displayed did you notice congratulations successfully you have limited also that means there is an option in your web server itself with the help of is you can limit the number of clients also that who can access if i remove it okay if i remove it okay come on okay just a second okay let's go to limit okay if i remove this limit again i go back to my client don't forget the one session is already on here see one session is already on okay now i go to second client my pc another one client pc see it was showing the error the page is not available that means if i refresh again see the page has successfully displayed why because we removed that limit option so i hope this was fruitful and it was easy going in order to understand hosting a two websites in a same domain using web server 2019 IIS. So if it, it was fruitful, informative to you, 
if it help you a lot in your network infrastructure in order to manage the web services please do like and subscribe thank you